Working with smart objects can bring some limitations. For example, what if you want just a blur out um, outside slightly? And right here we have a smart object. And reason why sometimes you want to do this. So this is look okay. You know, it's um, the object masking look fine. Um, when we introduce to the backdrop, you can notice right here, certainly we have some small problems. And again, if we analyze the corner, you can see right here, we have a small kind of anti aliasing going on our edges. So our model does not look totally into scene. It's look out because of this very sharp kind of edges. We do like sharp edges because it's much easier to blur or diffuse them that bring the other ways from the blur to the sharpness. So in this case, what we're going to do is introduce this artificial anti asking on the edges of our smart object. To do this, let's go first, we'll go to the ma our smart object, hold down control or command and left click. This is will select all object together. Next, what I want to do is modify these selections by going inside filter. Actually, we'll go inside, sorry, select, we'll go inside modify, and we'll go to contract. And here is a have different options. Um, in many cases, I found contract by one will work, but we had kind of like white range. So we can increase this by contract by two pixels, we don't need to do too much. Okay, you can see right here how the our selections is two pixels inside now. Next, we'll go to field, uh, select, modify, and we'll go inside the feathering. And we'll just set two pixels feathering. In some cases, you want maybe one pixel, but mostly if you do one pixels um, contract, do two pixels of the feathering. So for this one, we'll keep it two as well. And next, we'll just go and click on a mask. Well, notice right here we have now introduced this feathering, which is kind of reduce opacity. The reason why I did two pixels because we have this wide range that I want to even remove more. And let's call down shift key and click on our mask so we can see before and after. You can see it's a little bit better even without shadows. We kind of have it better introducing anti asking here. We can look um, like a gun antenna right there. You can see it's kind of come up. They only withdraw with small parts. Like you can notice we have right at this point, we had those wires. So and you can see they kind of disappear the two small details. So to bring them back, we needed to have another brush. Let's click again command of control on our mask. We'll re enable. And you can see right here we have this small um, wire going. So, in some case, we can just paint in to restore some of those small details. And mostly it's happened when you have um, kind of two pixels or smaller. So, you may have this effect. Again, this is a very large size of the image. So it probably if I have it in, you will never notice, but you know, I like to keep it um, to look better. So I say you can paint in like those small details if you're missing. Okay, otherwise we can see it's the all look good. Okay, we don't lose any small details. Okay, so let's go ahead and zoom out and again right here you can see we have it before like right there sharp edges and after and you can see it's blend much better together with the small edge anti allison thank you for watching this tutorial from geekard play studio and please remember visit us on the web is www.geekardplay.com or check us on YouTube channel, it's Geek at Play Studio.